Yo. <laughs> okay. I'm ready now. Um. I tried playing this game the other day and <laughs> it seemed a little too hard for me at the moment, so I figured I'd make a whole video about it. <laughs> I don't know. I guess this what that's what this is about though, right? Like kind of like learning and stuff like that, so never played this before. <laughs> We'll learn some things. Hello, test subject. Four, five, oh, zero, nine. So loud. <laughs> you have been in stasis for 16 days and four decades. Okay. Oh, Welcome to the Aperture Science Long Term Human Storage Vault. You have been selected to take part in a very special testing course. <laughs> Shit. All right, we got this. Federal regulations require us to inform you that the testing ahead may result in slight cases of sore throat or blurry vision or death. Yikes. If you experience any of the aforementioned side effects, please do not hesitate to write them down in your test report. So... This vacuum tube will take you to your testing area. You will be further instructed there. Easy. Can't hold it so far. Good luck. Alright, yeah, I, I tried playing like the first level the other day and it had to do with like time and like going through portals. I don't know, we'll see. through your test today. The door in front of you is programmed to open in approximately 20 years. Yo. This test can be solved in two different ways. Option one, wait patiently. Option two, time travel to the future. The All choice right, is yours. Easy. However, if you prefer time travel, the enrichment center will provide you the means to pursue that option. The time portal will open and testing will begin in three, two, one. Uh -oh. Welcome to the future. Time traveling through portals will be an essential part of this testing course. In order to help you distinguish between the present and the future, this part of the enrichment center has been left untouched for the last 20 years. You may see some signs of decay. Don't worry. The Enrichment Center is designed to withstand centuries without proper maintenance. Find a way to exit the chamber. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Welcome back to the present. If you are ever unsure which timeline you're in, simply observe your environment. The present should always look a bit cleaner than the future. What? 
This Aperture Science Test Subject Teleportation Device will dematerialize your body and rematerialize it in the next chamber. Okay. This process is absolutely safe. Usually. These next chambers will involve cube and button-based testing with the perks of time travel. Okay, this is where it gets gnarly. A cube placed in the present will appear in the same position in the future. Moving a cube in the present will automatically update the location of the same cube in the future. Okay, the first time yeah. I could not Please get that. Continue so to the next chamber. That seemed a lot. Okay, wait. I had that whole time to think about it, but that seemed a lot harder the first time I did it. <laughs> All right, I think I got this now. I literally gave up at that part. I couldn't figure it out. I was like, um, yeah, I'll do this later on camera <laughs> so you can. Um, understanding the concept of cause and effect will be vital to solving the upcoming tests. Is that fall damage? <laughs> Simply put, everything you do in the present has an impact on the future, Dope. but not the other way around. Oh, fuck, what does he say? Fuck. <laughs> Alright, so we will in the future. present cube to the future violates the laws of causality and is therefore impossible. This clever trick allows you to have two versions of the same cube in one timeline. This will prove to be very useful in future chambers. That is what we call talent. <laughs>
do that now. I have to get up this. So one of these has to disappear while I'm there. What? Yeah. <laughs> 